And we're now joined on the phone by winner of today's Forts USA 150 from Pocono, Christian Eckes. Christian, how are you doing today? Uh, not too bad, man. Just uh, got back to the hotel here, going over some notes for truck race tomorrow and getting some done on the uh, race for the day. Sounds like a uh, interesting way to celebrate after a win. <laughs> yeah, yeah, something like that. But, you know, you got to gotta keep working hard and uh keep improving so that you can go win the truck race tomorrow right right so well you already won one race this weekend so talk us through that one it seemed like early on you kind of had the second best car to todd there and then he had that penalty there during those green flag pit stops and then after that it seemed like it became your race after that point yeah uh you made a pretty fast jbl camry um you know throughout the day you know, obviously, we, we weren't where we needed to be the first run, uh, and we lost you know, a decent amount of time. We were okay firing off, but just way too tight on a longer run. And, uh, you know, we seemed to fix that a good amount on the second run. We were actually able to drive away. Uh, you know, we kind of got some lap traffic and stuff, and he gained to us so a few seconds, but, you know, we were able to, you know, gap it back out a few seconds. So, uh, you know, overall, it was a great day. You know, we didn't make any mistakes, and, you know, I felt like that was why we were in victory lane, and, um, you know, we need to continue doing these perfect races and hopefully we'll have a shot at it going to Kansas. If Todd hadn't gotten that pit road penalty there on that pit stop, do you think you'd have been able to catch him or do you think you'd have had to settle for second at that point? Yeah, I mean, it's just hard to tell, honestly. Um, you know, Todd and, and the 18 group were, were extremely fast. Uh, it was it was hard to, to stay with them there in the first run, but like I said, we, we kind of got better there. Uh, the second run and we improved a significant amount so um, you know he was he was pretty far ahead at that point so you know it's just kind of hard to, to tell how the race would have fold out but um, you know like I said he had a pretty good car so I'm not sure if we could have caught him or not. First caution free race this year I, I can't even think of the last time there was a caution free race does that kind of change up your strategy or your mentality throughout the race? Yeah you know going in I I mean, I've made a green flag pit stop at Pocono three out of the last four. So, you know, there's definitely a chance in, in you know, making them. So, you know, there's, there's a lot of practice going on during practice, you know, getting better at those. And, um, you know, it's it's been tough this year as far as that. You know, those cautions have not fallen very much, you know, even on the short tracks or, or anywhere. Um, I think we had a few at Elko, but... Uh, you know, are this intermediate racetracks? I don't think we had one or two at Michigan and, and just places like that. That uh, you know, car counts are a little bit down. They just kind of struggle with having caution. So, yeah, uh, it was a little bit of a boring race if we're, if we're going to be honest. For for me, I'm not really sure how the fans felt about it, but uh, they probably had the same outlook I did. <laughs> yeah, I'd say so. I'd I'd kind of agree with that. It 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 wasn't the most exciting race. Uh, and, yeah. and that's probably saying something, even if you're the race winner and you're saying it was a pretty boring race. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, it was, it was pretty boring. You know, I loved to win, and, and you know, uh, it was it was awesome to get in victory lane, but at the same time, it was, it was pretty boring out there. <laughs> so, this win now moves you up to second in points. You're now 75 points behind Michael for the championship here with five races left. So, still in it, although a pretty good gap still to overcome here. Uh, yep. But you've got two tracks left this season that you have won at. How confident? Three. Uh, Three. Oh, that's right. Three tracks. Okay, yeah, uh, that's right. Lucas Oil, Salem, and uh, Springfield. So. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, you probably got a pretty good outlook here. here. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I feel like the second half of the year last year was our strong suit as far as how the schedule was, and I feel like it's going to play in our favor as well this year. So, um. You know, we just got to keep bringing fast race cars. Uh, you know, we didn't unload how we really needed to at Iowa, but uh, at the same time, all the guys worked really hard, and, uh, you know, we got it better. So we seem to continue improving and, you know, kind of getting back to where we were when we, we started the year and last year. And we tried some different stuff throughout the year, and I don't think it's paid off too much. So, um, you know, we kind of went back to Michigan almost setup-wise from, for this race. So, um yeah, I mean, everybody's doing a great job at Venture Motor Sports, and, you know, we're winning a lot of races and sitting on a lot of poles so far as a company, and, uh, you know, it feels good to finally only have or uh, have more than one win, you know, 
of my teammates have like three or four. So, uh, you know, hopefully we'll get three or four by the end of the year. But, uh, you know, just kind of ready to see what happens. So give us a quick preview of the truck race here tomorrow. Probably not the, the qualifying run you exactly were looking yeah. for, but, I mean, what do you think are your odds uh, to get two wins this weekend? Yeah, um, you're just going to have to see, but you know, I honestly do feel like we're going to have a really good shot tomorrow. Um, you know, all throughout practice, I felt like we had a lot of speed. And, uh, you know, we were able to do stuff with our truck that some people weren't. So, you know, we're just going to have to see what happens, but in the same time, I honestly feel like we'll have uh, – a good shot at it tomorrow. You know, I screwed up qualifying. He's trucking our car so much different. I uh, didn't really know what to expect, but, uh, you know, it'll make our job a little bit tougher tomorrow. But at the same time, I feel like if there's anybody that can, you know, kind of overcome it, it's the 51 group. So I uh, was really ready to, to go tackle it and hopefully pick up another one tomorrow. Well, that just means you're going to make sure this truck race isn't as boring as the ARCA race, right? You're going to charge yeah, through the yeah, field right. and make it exciting. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> All right, well, Christian Eckes, your winner from today's Forts USA 150 from Pocono. Christian, congrats on the win, man, and uh, thanks for joining us. Yeah, appreciate that. Thank you.